Hello guys, Elf here, Elf Gaming, and this is going to be the quick and the dirty video on a soldering gun and what happens when your tip breaks. This one, the tip was perfectly fine. I went on and cut it. This is not the original tip. This is one of my ones I made. I've actually been meaning to remake it because it is kind of off. But in the field, if you have a stock tip, you know, they get wore out if, uh, can see how that's worn by went on and, and they'll break right there and it can easily be repaired if you have the right things like these wire cutters you can get the old tip out just unscrew these loosen them up enough to where you can get them out and then you want to get that out okay keep that same with this one keep that and what you want is I use a piece of Romex uh, solid core wire the soldering iron aside for a minute take the knife and just open this wire up take the ground wire Put the other two aside. The ground wire is the easiest because it's already stripped. And you'll probably see where this is going. I'm going to take your pliers. And this, that's. I need to get these lugs off. This will come right off of there. I'm going to have to cut. You want to keep these nuts. Straighten this up. Like that. First thing you want to do is take and bend. A little bend in it. 90 degrees. And that will be what locks it in you know, to your soldering gun. Okay. So this is to feed this in this way. Okay, there's different ways of doing this. I'm doing it this way so I can get some measurements. Okay, there's one. It's in there. Don't tighten it all the way down. Just kind of hand tighten it. Now you know the rough shape of the tip that was on it. I'm going to start making your bends. That's why I put it in there so I can get the feel of the measurement. You can start making your bends. This bend right here is going to be your actual tip bend. It's going to come all the way around if I can get it to do it. And then in the field, you can, you know, do it with one pair of pliers and just like that. Take and mash those together. Like that. Keep that one kind of straight. Then take and this one up a little. <clears throat> now we can cut this excess wire off. Go ahead and put our other nut on. I'm going to do this before we get too far in. And back to the soldering gun. So this way we need to Stick that back in temporarily once again. Needle nose pliers again, or whatever pliers you have, or your fingers if you so prefer. And just kind of get it, you can bend it. See, that one's too high. So you have to bring it back a little to about there. You see why I boo booed? You want to make sure this nut is back here before you bend. So as so we put a kink in it, so I know where to bend it now, and like so, and you look at it this way. Just kind of get it roughly in the right spot and put a 90 in it, and you cut it off like so. And now you can put both in 
put it back down tighten your bolts back up this is for the uh, Weller uh, model 8200 in soldering uh, iron dual wattage deal um, the Harbor Freight one I have, and I'll show you in just a minute how to replace the Chicago tools tip. It's similar, but a little different. Uh, the old Harbor Freight ones tend to really burn up faster. Let me plug this in. And, uh, okay, now we're plugged in. First thing you want to do is tin the tip. So let it, let it heat up good. Let it smoke. And just apply some rosin core solder to the tip. Let it uh, you know, cook down in there and get in it good. Clean the tip up good for you. Be generous. Don't be shy. As I smoke up the camera. And uh, yeah, that's if you're a poor man like me, <laughs> you do things like this to to keep your soldering iron soldering. Now, that's again, that's the Weller, and that's how you do that one. For the poor man's replacement tip using scrap copper. Now, where did I do with that other cheap iron? Where did I put it? Where did it go? Down here somewhere. Hmm. Hiding from the water. Okay. This this type of soldering iron uses a compression ring type fitting. This one here is very weak in this area. It's melted and gets too hot. And, but anyway, if this is your weapon of choice and you have a bad broken tip go on and do the same thing cut it on out of there the only difference between this one and the other one is you don't need to bend the ends on it you just unloosen these bolts all the way up keep these bolts says him as he beats the camera to pieces <laughs> pull the old tip out I know this is another one of those one of my copper tip replacements that I did, but the original tips aren't far off from this. The original tips that come with this gun uh, do not last long at all. And yeah, just pull them up. You see, it's got a compression type fitting. Uh, you take this, and that will go right in there. And since you don't have to bend it, you can. You know, just put one in, wrap it on down, and the, the thing with this type is that it may not like a smaller than 12 gauge wire. Uh, this happens to be, I think this is a 14 gauge copper wire, so you really got to get down on this, on this nut, just tighten it up as hard, far as it'll go to compress on it. And it'll be just fine. And then, you know, the same principle, bending it around. Easier way to probably to do this, take your finger and just uh, kind of do it this sort of way. Chop it off here. Back a little bit. And then take it back loose so we can get it in there evenly. We're going to take this bit right here, of course, and put its tip on it. Do that, and then, of course, we're going to bend it back up this way again. It's now so, so level with it. We're going to even it up. We don't need to put any 90s in it because it's all there. In fact, with this smaller 14, you could put this these back on and slide these right in like so I don't have to plug this one in it's not plugged in either tighten it up tighten it up 
And that's that. I'll find some power. Here's some power. One socket left. Okay. <coughs> same deal. With same thing we did with our other one. Heat it up. And apply this liberally to it to clean the copper. And burn off all of the trash that's on the wire. And again, the Harbor Freight soldering gun is now usable again. Uh, the fault I found with this particular gun, though, is that right here, this white plastic melts after, if you leave it running too long. Um, this is a lot of power on this. Uh, 180 watt gun this one is for heavy duty. Um, yeah, if you're going to run it a long time, expect that to melt right there. I don't use this gun much because of that. Well, um, that's uh, pretty much how to fix your soldering gun's tip in a pinch. And I'm Elf, and I'll see you guys in the next video.